Good, good evening, everybody. Uh, sorry again for the last session where we were not able to, you know, uh, do things properly. I don't know what happened, but in the end, we couldn't do anything. So we're going to start again from the point where we left off on episode two. And I think the first thing we, we did, Gondo, was the... Um, the, hold on was the um, we we were doing we were going to do like a second uh bottom row right a, an alternative bottom row oh yeah uh, i remember that the first thing that we had to do on the uh, on the schematic was that little uh, reset net oh uh, very good we point to replace the um the the register right yes let's do that first let me share my screen with you on the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Let me pull this closer to me. Where is it? Here. Yep, here it is. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So. so this is how it should be, right? Let's just add some things. Here we go. Okay, I'm trying to follow up. Oh, another thing that I need to do here, I think. What that? My grid is a little... Okay, let me see if I can. Let me show you uh, what I'm struggling with. Oh, Where's that? never mind. I think... Uh, can you see here that... I cannot go over this wire here. Mm, that's the grid. Remember the grid issue? Um, yeah, kind of remember. It was view, view, grid settings, and then grid size. That's 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 how you. Okay, let me make it like ten. It should be twenty-five, I guess. Twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five. Perfect. So now I delete this. Why? Is it not deleting? There we go. And then the last thing I'm going to press C here to copy ground to here. Is this how it's supposed to be? That's that. Exactly. All right. So uh, also the capacitor that we should be using uh, should be nano, right? The sorry. C1? I think you're breaking up, at least for me, a little bit. Should be what? The C1 capacitor is too low right now. It's 22 picofarads, and that's too low. It should be something around 100 nano. I don't know if we have anyone on chat, but if we do, and uh, can you confirm that Gondo is breaking up for you as well? Like your voice is breaking up, Gondo. Am I breaking up? Yeah, at least for me. I don't know if the stream is... is... Mm. I think it's better now. So try, try saying it again. You, you were saying something about C1? Oh yeah, C1, uh, yeah, right now it is 22 picofarads. Uh -huh. It should be 100 nano. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, it is, it is like, it's cutting, right? Let me see if I can see. I think it's a little bit better now. I have no idea why, but yeah. Yeah, it could be like a bandwidth kind of thing, but I think we're good now. Maybe, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, my, my configurations are all okay. No, I think I think we're good. I think we can move awesome. on. Okay, so this is the... Uh, how can I say? The default... Uh, schematic that we should have, right? Mm -hmm. And what we what we were going to do then was to put... Breaking like up badly the, now. Was to put the... Do, do you want to try bottle. to get out of um, Zoom and join again? Let me try that. Just so we see. Sure. Oh, and it's when you're sharing. Now that you're not sharing anymore? It's working it's fine. Yeah, way better. Mm, this is weird. 
let me see if I, um, yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe it's my graphics driver, no idea. Let me see if I try again, what happens? Okay, so I'm sharing again. Is my voice cutting yes, still? Yes, it is. Why, when you okay. move the mouse, it cuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just move the mouse when it's needed. So, um, yeah, this is our default. No, uh, even uh, even when, when you're not moving now, it's breaking up. Yeah, let me stop sharing. <laughs> okay, stop sharing. Um, so, the thing is that um, this is the default uh, uh, schematic that we should have. And right now, we should implement the second bottom row. So, right. Last time that we tried to do the uh, the, uh, the 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 second bottom row, we tried to put uh, the switches just like randomly the 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 second row switches and see what happens. And the idea was to show that we could save both space and uh, components diodes by doing little tweaks uh, in that implementation, right? Right. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to try to implement that second bottom row and see what happens uh, and how we can save up space and components, right? So okay. if we go to KLE... So do you have the QL, KLE there? Oh, yeah, I'm going to post it in chat. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Let's try, sure, 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 sure. Okay, there you go. Posted it. Got it. Okay. So now, uh, again, awesome. for, we're going to implement all of those. We will, right? Uh, that's that's the idea, yeah. So we need to do the, and we're gonna start because the only thing you know we don't need this, like for instance, right? Because we already have it. So we could. Oh like, yeah. So uh, this what happens and... is that uh, since we need, um, since we need like the, each key should have a footprint, right? Mm -hmm. And if we try to implement that uh, right out uh, two times, we will see that on the PCB, the two footprints will be like one on top of the other. The exact same pads, the exact same size. So we could have like only one footprint for those three uh, keys. Right. You know? I agree. That's that's the that's the idea. So okay. um, what we should do now is, so we've got to implement a four more keys right two to five one two seven five and one okay let's do that so we start on the schematics oh yeah we start with the schematic so let's add uh this so as i said last stream too it is good to keep everything well organized so you don't have an issue so what i generally do is i add like a text saying which uh, which symbols uh, which symbols relate to to which uh, footprints? So the seven new uh, bottom row, I called bottom one, bottom row number right. one. Right, and the way and you then, do that, you add a text, right? Oh yeah, we just added this text uh, on the right uh, bottom. There is this big T standing for text, and I just said bottom one. And if I read it bigger, yep, bottom one. Perfect. So that's our bottom one. That's our bottom one. And now we're going to do... Hey, Sleepoke, how are you? Sleepoke, what's up? Wasn't Sleepoke a Pokemon? Yes. No, that was Slowpoke. Oh, yeah, true. It's Slowpoke. I am Slowpoke. not I'm not very knowledgeable of... of so uh, first we need 2 to 5, 1 to 7, 5, 1. So let's add a 4 Space, speech. 2 to 5... Let's see what happens if we do this. So it is space two to five. I want you. Let me change the words here. Let me get this one. Yeah, way better. Okay, now. Mm, awesome. So it's uh, space two to five, 
And then it's, uh, however, plan 100. And then 275. Okay. Why am I, hold on, let me see, okay, now I got it, okay, let me copy this here, hey, Jackstatic, how are you, Jack welcome Static. and good What's evening, up? so we're replicating that here as well, and then, oops, and then finally we're replicating this on this list switch here and then what I think I'll do is I'll move everything a little bit further down like this and I think I need to move this one you one yeah I think now everything is aligned now we wire um, how are we calling this are we also calling this row five or what's the idea yeah so um the trick here is to understand that uh each bottom row we use the same row which is row four right right so we can wire them all to row four okay uh, uh, no problems i just did a little bit of a mistake here. oh Okay, I am wiring everything. Okay, can you take a look at my screen and just see if I did the right thing? Yep, that's it. Awesome. And then row four here as well? Like this? And then row four. Yep, exactly. Okay, so I'm saving this, and this is how this should look. This Oh, and then we need to put a text here, right, as bottom two? Oh, yeah, it would be good to, to put in a text there. Okay. To signal, okay, before copy. Amazing. Okay, now we need to edit the uh, footprints, right? Because we just copied the switches. True. Now, we can do that individually. Like, if you try to edit a symbol for yourself, you can press E. Yes, you that's what I did. It. I pressed E in, on top of it, and I see the first one is 125. Yes. But what we want is 225, right? 225, yeah. 225. I'm clicking OK. Yeah. Then I'm going to the second one, and I'm going to click edit and this one is of course 125 we want 100 and we're going to do the same thing for the 275 but right now it's 125 and we're going to do 275 and finally to this 1u which is the last one we're going from 125 to 100 right exactly yeah perfect done Done? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Let me... Okay. Now, uh, what we should do is I'm copying text, bottom one, just bottom two. Okay, okay. Now we save it and go to the PCB. Let's do it. Going to the PCB. Okay. Then okay. we need to update... Update the PCB, yes. From schematic. Yeah, and now I have the... the and click annotate, right? First, uh, you annotate everything. Mm -hmm. uh, saying that my footprint... 46, 47, 48, and 49. Let's see It's then guys. four new diodes that I added. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hold on. Let me close this. It's probably those, but I just... It's the same as this. That's the weird part. I just copied them. 
Let's see, I diodes. That, uh... Footprint library not found. I think I know this is the problem because I... Oh, hold on. No, even though I reinstalled KiCad, it should be here, right? Let's see, how do I go to the... Uh... I think... I think that there is a little bit of a problem that uh, the the KiCad was updated and the the old library is called diodes underline SMD, but now it's called diode underline SMD, which is what's causing the problem. Are you kidding me? Yep, I think that's it. Okay. That, that exactly that same problem happened last time, and when I when I went looking for it, yep, I think um, that fixed it. Let's, uh, let's update those four. I'm almost done. Let's see here. Particularly though, I don't like that approach. I like to go them all the way. So I just... Let me, let me what do you this. do? I just, um, I go to them and I edit every single instance of diodes and Alliance MD Got for it. diode SMD. Okay, let's do that. But, um... No, let's do that. I, I am fine with that. Let's, uh, let me go here. So we're going to do Vim um, sharks 50 dot schematic and we're going to look for diode. Uh, how was it called before? So what you, you, what you put is the quotes, right? the, the that double, you're breaking the up like cut. badly, badly. It was plural and now it's it's not it's right singular okay exactly. so i'm doing a global replace in vim so i'm doing percent s diodes smd and replacing it with diode smd i'm not doing a global replace so we did 46 substitutions so i'm gonna save yeah, this which is the which is the number of diodes that Correct. are faulty if i remember correctly and then if you try to do it again it should fix the issue okay all right so let me go back to the pcb and let's try updating it from update pcb yes uh success so we are good uh, now Gondo. amazing and we have the switches here so if i remember correctly what i need to do is to flip and rotate them right flip uh, and rotate twice there we go so now they are all the, the all the all the switches are rotated. Should we do the same with the diodes? Uh, after uh, after we place the switches, maybe we need okay. first to implement every um, every layout, and then we place components. Can you help me here? Uh, the grid settings were overridden because I restarted it. I reinstalled. Oh yeah. So uh, first of all, we go use Imperial because well, it uses Imperial, so it's better. How do I do it. that again? I forgot. Okay. So if you go to your left column, you have uh, you have uh, on your left you have the option to choose between millimeters and inches. Yes. So go into inches. Okay. So you click inches. Uh huh. Amazing. And now you go to View Grid Settings. Edit User Grid. Exactly. Edit User Grid, and on the User Grid. You can put so the the uh, keyboard unit is three fourths of an inch, right? Okay, three divided so what, by four. Exactly. So what we are using was an eighth of that. Yes, so eighth, you're right. So, so it's point seven five over eight. For me, if I input three over thirty two, like with the with the with the slash, it works for uh, me as it well. It works. It works for you too. Okay, yes. awesome. So just input. 0 0.09375. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think I have an even finer one. Let me put that as the same as you're using. 3 over 32. So now I think we need to Three just position them 30. like they are here, right? Awesome. Uh, yep, exactly how they are, uh, which is which is nice uh, in this case because they are just the span of the space bar, of the big space exactly. bar. Exactly. The problem here is that... Uh, it's not always good to just place them on top of the space bar. Uh, it's always better to construct the bottom row before using it. Let me show ah, you. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Because uh, you yeah, have yeah. a bunch of holes and you don't know which one is which and it's got of just course. a mess. Of course. So first, you, 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 do it. The, you do it and then you put it on the PCB. Now you're, uh, that's a great tip. So 
first is to do five. Yeah. Awesome. So this, this. That's what. Later. That's what. Uh, what's the difference between pros and amateurs? Oh no! <laughs> it's just. It's just experience, my friend. No, no issues there. Okay, done. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but I think you have it flipped though, because the two to five comes before the two seven five on button two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Sorry. Good, um, good eyes. I miss that completely. Okay, now I think it's amazing. Now check if the one you switches are not flipped, are not changed, are no. not like swapped. No. Oh, it's what you? Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, and forty nine. Yes. Okay. Yep, that's exactly it. Because you could have done. I paid attention to that while I, while I was moving. I was paying attention mm -hmm. to make that uh, oh, not yeah. not go, go you know not that the opposite be a problem. Particularly when I'm doing this step, I also like to turn off Red's Nest. Uh, those white lines. How do you do that? Uh, on your left column again, uh, there is uh, inch millimeters. Then there is the change cursor shape, and then there is the red redness. Oof! So much better. So you just oof, those redness, and it's it's really better for component placing. Awesome. Now you just place the second row. There we are. Okay. Amazing. That's awesome. so cool, man. <laughs> it's so, the small things. Oh, yeah. Now, we have <laughs> this little tidbit head of a problem, which uh -huh. is, if you look closely, we did south-facing uh, steps, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there is this uh, small, how can I say, consideration about uh, steps. It's because, if you look closely, south-facing steps have this little problem where the big hole stays on the bottom. Right. Meaning that if you have a space constricted case, uh, you could uh, end up like the PCB edge cuts through that hole. Okay. Um, that's why, in general, we uh, PCB designers like to do north facing steps. For example, in uh, Universal 60% PCBs, every single one of them has. Um, Every single one of them has like a um, a uh, north facing step. Right. Why? Because the the like how can I say this? The poker layout, which is where the sixty percent come from, right? They come from that. Uh, they they have space constricted on the on that bottom part. Uh, I think your your image froze. But let me ask you, I, I don't I don't understand the problem. Um... Is it a problem as it is, or is that a, like a potential problem? No, no, it's just that uh, we here are using. Let me restart my uh, my camera here. But the 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 what we are doing now is designing the PCB without mechanical constraints, right? We right. don't have like uh, the case dimensions to work with. Mm -hmm. In general, though, we will have those. Uh, we will have. Um, we will have like the layout of the case, and if the um, if the the PCB is constricted, ever getting camera options. What the actual f? Okay, so I'm trying to fix my my camera. Sorry. The thing is, uh, in most uh, in most cases, the keyboard case will have a limited space on mm -hmm. that bottom part. Which right. will sometimes force you to use north facing steps. Oh, okay. Because of that big hole, and you don't want to cut through the big hole because it compromises uh, mechanical strength. Right. Problem being is north uh, south facing steps uh, are default for a reason. That reason, okay, I think I'm back. You're back. That reason being uh, alignment issues. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you know, I did the Austin PCB and we sent it over to Anthony, 001, 001 Anthony. Yes. Uh -huh. And he showed us, and I didn't know that, he showed us that the problem with north facing steps is not only a functional, it's also an alignment issue. So if you use like the, the space bar, um, the space bar keycap on north facing steps is slightly, 
uh, is slightly up. It, it, it goes a little bit up and the keycap alignment is not perfect. When it's south or no, when it's... When it's north. When it's right. north. Because north is not a default. And that can, you know, trigger some most OCDs over there. So, um, the thing is that avoid using north facing straps. Firstly, because it's the default. Secondly, because of that alignment issue. Right. And the third thing, because the uh, south facing steps are easier to fix if something goes awry, right? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a big appeal. Oh, yeah. So that space bar, uh, that space bar uh, uh, step has those little uh, caveats. On our case here, we don't need to do that because we have PCP space. So no problems. But uh, every time you are doing, uh, like, how can I say this? Every time you are doing this part of the PCB, mind you, uh, of the north facing steps yes. and the, the trade off coming off this. No, that's perfect. Um, that's great also, advice. You can see that, well, the, this bottom row is just a mess right now because uh, imagine the user, right? Imagine the final PCB. If you go to the 3D viewer and check the tree, how the 3D viewer comes, um, there are a bunch of holes there that uh, imagine like the user, right? So the user gets the PCB to solder his or her switches in, and then, uh, okay, so I want bottom one. I don't know, I want bottom row one. So which which switches should I solder, right? Which holes are which? Which stabs are which? There mm -hmm. are five or six uh, stab places there. So um, what I particularly like to do is to add indicators Oh yeah, and we will see. Uh, and we will see that happening in a moment. Okay, right. And the third problem that arose here is if you take a look at the um, at the seven U. At the seven U right stabilizer. Mm -hmm. This the stabilizer hole. It's really really close to, to this. a pad. This right. Exactly. If you use a screw in, screw-ins have, well, screws, and the screws are metallic. That could make uh, unwanted short circuits mm -hmm. on that pad there. So it is always advised that the user uses electrical tape here. Right. Right? To prevent that sort of thing happening. No, that makes a lot of sense. But uh, for production of the PCB, this is not an issue, right? Oh, no, this is not an issue at all. Uh, okay. it, when we run the design rule checks, the, 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 the program will warn us that there are two holes too near yes. each other. And we can, you, we can make whatever of it. But no, as, as it stands now, it's not a problem at all. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, now we do bottom row three. Let's do it. Bottom row three is nice because the only thing that changes are the two uh, right switches. Hold on, let me get there. Um, Do it. Right, yes. Um, we put a 125 where the one you was, and we do the opposite, right? And we. You know, you know what I was, what I was wondering here. So get me. The the four bottom rows that we have there, they are basically. Uh, uh, permutations between the space bars and the one, True. one, two, five. So if we did the first bottom row, bottom two, and the last one, mm -hmm. we should awesome. have everyone covered. True. Yes. Get we it? Can. T totally. Totally. Because this is an overlap of this. This is an overlap of this. This part is an overlap of this, and those two is an overlap of those two. So, to 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 support those four bottom rows, all we need to do is support the first and the last. Correct. So, so we can let's just implement the last basically, one. Basically, let me see. This is all we need to support all the four. Oh, yeah, exactly. If we implement that one. So, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so let's go back to the schematic, right? The schematic, exactly. So now we're going to start. Let me see. Let me copy this whole thing. Because I 
think we can optimize it. Why? Oh yeah, we just need to like uh, change switch positioning for the new for the new bottom rows, so it shouldn't be. A Is there a way to copy like uh, all of this? Oh yeah, you select everything. Control C and Control V. Oh, Control C. That's the. Got it. No, it didn't work. Hold on. Yeah, for me, it's Command C, Command V. Command C, Command V. Yeah. Got there we go. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry. Let me see. So we put it around here. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do. This is gonna be space two seventy five, right? Mm hmm. This is going to be space one. This is going to be 225. And this is going to be 125. And we need to add another one, right? We need to add one. Yeah, we need to add another one. We need to add one to five and the, the and one. one only. All right, let me wire this. Oh no, we need the diode first. Five. Okay, so let me check everything. Then let me wire this. Wire the row. And I just realized we are a little bit low. Okay, this should do it. Okay, I, I'm almost there. wire yeah this is a one is there a way to move like one up with the arrow or something with the arrows yes okay so let me see I'm gonna click here move I'm doing something wrong why is this not moving oh it's on wire uh, let's see move ah there we go one up enter oh I need to move this guy one up as well you can select everything. Just uh, mass select everything and try the arrows. Yeah, I'm not, I I already had one moved. You see what I mean? Like the the switch was already at the right spot. Okay, so now I need to wire this guy. Let's see all the way up here. Oh no! Hold on. Let me try the opposite from here here okay done all right let's just call this bottom three bottom five or bottom three or something yeah let's call it bottom three because because we don't have more because. than three physically even though logically we do why is this thing not moving bottom three yeah i'm gonna align bottom two and bottom three or maybe not yeah, it's prettier like this. Let me move bottom three to around here. Okay, perfect. All right, so let me just fix the footprints. And this one here is called space one. All right, let me fix the footprints. So the first one is two. Hold on, there's something. 275, yes. So it's 20. Yeah, it's 225 right now. Let's make it 275. This one here is one, so we're good. This one should be two, 25. This one here is probably a one. We want to make it one, 25. And I think the last one is already correct, but let me double check. Okay, yes. Uh, does it look good? Amazing, yep. Perfect. Let's go so, PCB. Let's go to the PCB. And update. Five. All right, let's annotate. And Five then we have seven. no issues. Let's close and move everything mm -hmm. to here. And now we do the same thing, right? We flip first, and then we make the, the PCB, um, the, not the PCB. 
the space bar, we organized that, right? Oh, yeah. I have one extra uh, switch. I have no idea why. 50, 52, and 50. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Flip. Awesome. Rotate, rotate. So there we have it. All right. So let me start. We start with uh, the 275. So let me move this. Oops. Select this guy. Move it here. And then this 51. Where is 51? Move Seven. it here. Then we probably have this, which is correct. 52. Then we have the 125U. Oops. Okay. I'm almost there. Move. This guy goes right here. And then finally, we want to move this. Now, I, I always forget that I have to click first and then click move. Here we go. All right. Does it look good? Looks good. Yeah. Let's move it to the proper place now then. So we just align it to the right and boom, done. Done? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, this is our bottom row. Looks like a one of those DZ60, no, I'm kidding. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm, uh, I'm going to the... 3D viewer just to... Is this an issue? No, right? No, it's not. But there is a little caveat to it. Uh, if you zoom in on the uh, PCB file, you'll see that there are two... Um, um, like on the pad, you'll see that the pad, it has basically three colors each pad. It has like this big yellow, which is the pad uh -huh. itself, the carpet pad itself. It has this uh, pink-ish... Mm -hmm. Purple, Which pink, is, yeah. Oh, yeah, this pink is the F dot mask, if I remember correctly. It is. Which, which is F dot mask is the layer that tells you, Kaiket, not to put solder mask there. Like, avoid solder mask in this pink area, mm -hmm. which is not neat, right? We don't want the pet to be covered because we want to solder. Right. Uh, we want to solder in it. And then you see this little yellow line. Mm -hmm. That yellow line is the clearance. Okay. So you can't have any copper uh, wires or pad inside that uh, that that trace, that yellow trace. Okay. And that's okay because if you check the, the the nearest pad, almost gets there, but it doesn't even touch the clearance. Yes, uh, up here, right? Yeah, that's cool. If you check, uh, that happens with almost every pad there, except for this one. Which one? Switch 53, 53 and 49, 53, 49, 50 and 54. Sorry, 54 and 40. Okay. Where do we have okay. a problem here? We have a problem here because if you check it out, uh, here? the switches are making short circuits, plain short circuits. Is that this here? No, between the two pads, the two switch pads. Oh, but that's fine, right? Or, or no? See, in, in a first, uh, in a first, it's not because, for example, switch fifty three should be an alt. Ah, okay. While switch forty nine should be. A space. We need to make them almost the same thing, right? Yeah. So here, uh, you see, because of this uh, space contingency here, we need to connect those two switches. That's not. Uh, how can I say this? That's not. We can choose that because that's that's fixed. That's fixed by, by switch placement. Right. This is exactly why in, when you like go to QMK, the DZ60 for the QMK, when you have like three or four different layouts, you have layout one, two, three, four, because in layout one, for example, this switch is uh, right alt. Mm -hmm. In layout two, this switch here is uh, the space the or whatever, engine, the space bar or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do here in order not to get a problem, because if we do different nets, because as KiCat understands it, two pads, the two pads here, they are kind of connected. They are in the same, yeah. they are copper, but they are different nets. 
Right. So this is a short circuit. This is an intended short circuit. True. So what we need to do is go to this schematic and connect those switches, right? Mm-hmm. That makes so sense. So the switches, the switches that are touching are 49, 53, and 54. 54 and 40? Yep. Yes. So, um... Yeah, none of the others are touching, which is incredible. No. Okay, so go back to schematic? Go back, go back to schematic, and what we need to do is connect the switches, uh, like, terminal by terminal. Like, okay. pin connect them. So, which one were them again? 49, 53, and 50, 40. 40, 50, hold on, say that, say that again, I'm going to... Like 49, 53, 49 and 53 and 50, 40, 50, 40. Okay. I'm sorry. 50, 54, 50 and 54. Okay. Perfect. So 49, 49 and 53. So they are here. Yep. So what do we do? We, how do you do that? You just connect them like by uh, by their terminals. Let me show you what I mean. So need. you take out the diode as well. Yeah, that's that's one. Like, how can I say this? That's one happy consequence of what's happening here. Is that that diode fifty three is not needed because by... what's basically happening in the PCB here is that every time that we activate switch forty nine, automatically we will activate switch fifty three. Correct. That's that's not a choice. So we don't need a second diode for that. We can use a single diode. For so do I connect it all the way to here, like something like this? Um, you could do that. Particularly, uh, <clears throat> I like to do like this. So let me share my screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's go for it. I think that I have way too much um, way too much windows open, and that's why it's becoming a problem. Let me try closing some stuff. Bye. Okay, so I believe my voice is really bad now. No, no, it's perfect. Believe okay. it or not. Oh yeah, just computer things. So uh, what's happening here is that we need to connect those two, right? So what yes. I basically do is this. So I just took TV4 and connected to 40. <laughs> like Bryson is, good Lord, what did I walk into? <laughs> oh yeah, this, this is hardware development, man. This is the pinnacle of madness. Forget Joker, <laughs> forget anything. This oh is- Oh my God, did you watch the movie? Team. We can talk about oh, that. Oh, I did. It's so amazing. good. Oh yeah. Go for it, sorry. Oh yeah, that's that's just what I do, you know. So uh, I connect them pin by pin, like mm -hmm. it is here. I believe that I'm that I shared the wrong screen. Hold on. Oh, you did. That's why it was not making sense to me. You're like pointing to. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. Here it is. So I just connected them pin by pin. No way. That looks so organized. If when you do that, it will become like the the legends will become meshed up. Like when let me do fifty three and forty nine here. See, when you do this, they will become really messed yeah. up here. Uh -huh. So I just move them. So this way here, I know that this top one, <laughs> you know, You're I know that this this way here, I know that this bottom one you is... should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, yeah. That's and... so cool, man. Like, so cool. Okay, so you move it to the right. And then... W49. Oh, hold on. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Let me, before I move it, let me move this outside to here. So switch 49, space one. And then let me first move this here. And then let's move few reference to here 
show us your screen. You're showing mine. Oh, right yes. Now. True. I forgot. So Brazian says this is intense. Oh, yeah. This is intense. Imagine working with this. Imagine doing it for a living, dude. Sheer <laughs> this is mind breaking. So basically, then what you do is you connect this right here like that. Is oh, that yeah. what to do? I just connect them one, one and one. This is so good. All right, and then you don't need those wire, those wires. Oh no, you anymore. can delete the wires. Done. Oops, one was still being in use. Okay, let me see. Remove this. I think I'll have to redo the wire. Maybe place a junction there. See that there's a little square. Uh huh. And um, there should be a junction there. That okay. means first telling you. So place a junction. What? How? What's the key for junction? I forgot. Try J. J. Oh, yeah, J. Okay, so now if I delete this piece, there we go. Cool. All right. So should I try to move this? Uh, maybe not. I'm going to leave it. Just leave it as it is. You will have, the, you will have the, a, a new way to do it. Is it 54? Yeah, you... 50 you, and 54, right? Yeah, you should do the same thing with 50 and 54. Yep. Where is 54? So this one here, right? So I'm just going to move 54 here, right? I'm sorry, man. I goofed. It was 40 and 54. 40 and 54. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. 40 and 54. Okay. Let's 40. Me find 40. Where is 40? Uh, 40 is right here. So let's move it there. So I'm going to move it here in a way that I can organize this one first. So I can move it outside like this. Move this one here. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. So it becomes easier after to change. There. Let me align those two values and Those two values, great. Let me connect the wires like that and like that. Perfect. Woohoo! <laughs> and Amazing. we can get rid of this. Why or is it? Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then let me delete the, even this piece here. We don't need it anymore. So now bottom row three goes here. Is that it? That's it. Okay. What's next? Now we save. Go to PCB. Let me stop sharing here. Let me go to PCB. If you update the PCB, you will see what happens. <laughs> it's the same thing. Now, if you go to the pads, yeah, you see they are connected yeah. on the schematic level. So the now net they is, right. they have the same net. Yep. <laughs> you can, for, for visual confirmation, you can highlight net. So if you take your right column, uh -huh. it's the second icon from top to bottom. Uh, it's highlight net. So you click highlight net and then you click the pads and you sh the, 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 the pads that the net is, they should light up. I don't know what happened, but I am having a great... Oh, there we go. Here. Yes. So this is confirmed. And let me see if I can... I cannot place my cursor on this. I need to By change. the way, uh, yeah, change the grid. You should change the grid to do that. Try it. Here. So that's perfect. Yeah. Zoom out. Try zooming out a little bit. That's perfect. Oh, you see, yeah, you it, see that there is a this is the that lumen. Up to? Yeah, this is the column, right? See, yeah, that's the column. Now, <laughs> you know that you see that we have a tad bit of the uh, of the an issue, uh, an issue because why? Because it should be better play, if we use this column, right? Yeah, in my uh, in my uh, I did use column 10. It's okay, the one let me go right back and above. fix it. So you, you use column de 10 for which one? For 49 and 53. 
So, question. Do I need to try and put it here or should I use a label? Oh, no, just move it. You can just, just simply move it. You can just mass select them and just move the entire thing. With, no, try moving it to, with, the, uh, with the wires too. You can do it. What's the key for that? You, you just select them. Oh, you mean keeping this? Keeping everything? Oh, yeah, like, check it out. Uh, let me share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing it. It has the wire and everything. Where is column 10? Uh, so here. Okay. Column 10 is the one for the dot. Uh, right wedge, it's called wedge. Like the, the little arrow dot and the little right like mm -hmm. arrow. It's called a wedge. Done. So if you, if you do it right now, uh, you, you, would, you should have a better placement of the uh, column there. Perfect. I'm saving it. Let me go back to the schematic and no, not to the schematic to the PCB and let's update it. Let's update PCB close and let's do the same thing again. So let's go to highlight net and let's go here. You press, I think you pressed the wrong one. I think you pressed Brett's nest one. Oh, I think mine went to 11. I did it wrong. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I was pressing the wrong one all the time. Yeah, mine was go, but this is perfect, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's it. That's exactly it. Okay. So now you just keep on checking if you use the right uh, columns. Hold on. Uh, put Pondren just followed us. Thank you, Pondren. Oh, awesome. Okay, this looks nice. Let's see this. Oh, but this is. Okay, why do we have the same oh same column? That's okay, I guess. Oh, yeah. The thing is that if you take a look at these switches in the middle here, they have a tad bit of issue. That exactly what you're seeing right now, which is we have multiple um, multiple um, switches with the same columns, mm -hmm. and you start thinking that that would be a little tad bit of a headache to wire, right? Uh, What's happening here is that, uh, so for example, 48, 52, and which one? Let me see. Why is this one? Oh, the, even this one is on this column. Why? Oh, no, Hold I on. think you have to press S. Press escape. Ah, yes, five, true. And then you just click at stuff. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, it's awesome. not that bad. So it's just those two along with these. So... Do you think that it would be better to have like a have them like to another column? Okay, so this is where uh, experience comes. So, for example, for switches forty-eight and fifty-two. So, take a look at forty-eight and fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Forty-eight is the bottom two. Uh, 50, sorry, fifty-two is the bottom two two to five, and forty-eight is the bottom three two seven five. Right. So there are different bottom rows. Which they means are. that the user will never use them at the same time. Correct. Right? So you might as well connect them. True. <laughs> that makes a lot of it's, sense. It's, it's better to way, connect them. That way you can just make like small connections. You can just connect them straight up yeah. and you save a diode. Same thing for 51 and 29 maybe. Uh, yeah, that, uh, let's see, 46 and 50, the sa very same thing, 46, 50. Mm -hmm. No, there are three switches in the middle there that we should be a little bit careful. So, yeah, see, the thing is that, um, they will, they, we could, there is no, you know, physical way to solder those two switches at the same time. No, but if you see, if you check it correctly, you can you can have um, switch twenty nine. You can even expand it. So switch twenty nine, which is the seven U. Mm -hmm. The same the same thing happens. I get don't it? get it. No. So switch twenty nine is the seven U. Right. Bottom row one. Right. Right. Then you have 48 and 52. Mm -hmm. If you take a close look, 
you will never you, you will never use two of them together right You'll never never ever so you could connect the three of them oh so you're saying 52 48 and 29 yep yes see because if you solder one of them you will activate all of them at the same time yeah yeah, yeah. Is that a problem? Yes, initially yes, because it's a short circuit. But uh, the user will never you will use. Never them. use. Uh, There's no way. Because see? this basically covers everything else. Exactly. So we could just, you know, do 29, 48, 48 52, and 52. All the same. Okay. So we go to the schematic. Before you do that, let me just take note because I am not as good as you in this. So it's 29, 48, and 52. 52. Okay. Yes. Close it. So let me share screen again. And so 29, I'm going to, oh, okay. Okay. So it will become a little bit of a mess, but then again, it's just working labels out. So 29. 29 is the seven new space. 48. Oh, yeah. Here, here, here. 48, where is 40? Right here. Let me just move this outside. Like that. And then the other one is 52. Here. Yep. Awesome. Uh, my first. So this is the kind of end result here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. If we, if you take a look, we, we had the same thing with another two switches, right? So we had it with, um, let me change here. So we had the same thing with these two here, 46 and 50, right? Both are spaced. Both are uh, won't be ever used uh, in the same uh, at the same time. Hold on, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still look at look what I'm doing. I'm still moving them. Mountain Block says, "Oh shit, I'm late to class again." Oh yeah, man, that happens. It happens. Hey, Mountain Blocks, <laughs> For, how are you? Fortunately, there will be a video demon. So if you if you feel a little bit uh, lost, you will have the video after. So as you can see, I'm a little more, I'm a little slower than you. No, no. Okay, so now let me just connect all of them here. Let's see, Woma two just followed us. Thank you. Is it normal oh, no, to no, have no. those dots like this? Yeah, yeah. Does not show uh, junction Junker, connection? Uh -huh. I was that's, just that's double checking okay. if I if I did the right thing. That's okay. What am I doing wrong? Hold on. Okay. All right. Uh, I am with you. Let me go to the PCB. Awesome. So uh, you remember that we had the same thing, the same, how can I say this? situation mm -hmm. with uh with this one here so 46 and 50 46 and 50 yes uh-huh so then again let's connect them let's do it 46 so, and 50 46 and 50 46 where is 50 here okay so moving those things outside Yeah, I need to think about what to do here because it's starting to look kind of messy. But I'll show you and then. Let's see. Uh, hold on, like this.
Okay, awesome. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that I need to delete. Oh yeah, you should uh, place those labels like on the left side. Yeah. Like this. Good like idea. Just... So, I think I'm done. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm done. Done? Yeah, let's just... And wait. now, yeah, as I can see it, we have still another one of those that we could did do. You, did you update? Or, no, you're doing that first, right? Yeah. So, which one? See, see these two here? 47 and 51. 47 and 51, yes. Yes. They are the same key. But... Uh, which is the function key, the one new function key, but same thing. You will never use them at the same time. So, right. Then again, let's just 47 and 51. Let's connect them. And 51. Yep. 47, 51. 47, 51. There it is. So, oops. Move this outside and move this outside. Move this. There. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so all of a sudden we don't need bottom three anymore. Oh yeah. See, that's that's the. That's the magic of it. It is. I think it deleted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think. What is this here? Not going anywhere. Where is this supposed to go? Maybe here? Yeah, I think so. Awesome. Okay, let's update it. Let's see. Okay. So, okay, quick question. So I think my, my columns are a little off. Let's see. Can you see here? Yeah, sure, totally. Um, this is column three. Should I move those two to this column, to column four? You know, my column three is not... Yeah, that's what I did. Those two there, I moved to column four. Let me do that. And... So uh, it's this. This is the combo of 46 and 50. Hold on. 46 and 50 is this one here. So yours is in column four. Okay. So let me quickly delete this wire. Yeah, it looks, looks okay. this wire. Hold on. Let me delete this. Yes, so now let's move everything one column to the right. Almost low. It's yeah, too much uh, move. Yes, so around here maybe. Hold on, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, this is... Uh, hold on. So, column four is this one here. So, 
So I'm kind of lost. I kind of lost. So what's that? Forty six and fifty. We want it to be on column four. Okay. okay. So da, 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 yeah, forty six and fifty to column four. Column yes. Four is this one here. So yeah, I need to move it back. Is the one on the C. Okay, that's done. And then for 47 and 51, 47 and 51, that right now is column four. We want it to be column six, right? Let's see. Uh, I, I used column five. Okay, I can move that to column five. So we could, however, do I'm your seven. thing. Yeah, I think yours is better. Let's do a 47 on column six and okay. then the other ones on seven, right? Yes, let me see. So column six is here. So, Just move this stuff to around here. Yeah. here perfect okay okay and then the other one to column seven oh yeah the three space bars to column seven yeah this here Okay. What about 49 and 53? I think th that's taken care of. Okay, for me here, 49 and 53 are in column 10, which is fairly good. It's right on top yeah. of Yeah, I think we fixed that before. So let me update. Yeah. Okay. So it should be done. Okay, let me update. Okay, let's see. Let me take a look again. So when I click this, this is column four and it looks great from a wiring perspective. Um, no, so something's disconnected because this is not on any column. So I did something oh, wrong. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. This is the combo of 47. 47, so, where wow. are you? 47, this one. You can control F, by the way. I found it, I found the problem. Oh yeah, there it is, not connected. How do I move it? There. Okay, let's try it again. Update, close. And then I can kind of already see this. This is on column six. No, I did the wrong one. Column six, yeah. Now this is a lot better. Looks very clean. And let's see this one here is column seven. Is this right? Hold on. Let's see. Uh, those three are, is the same. Yes, column oh, seven. Oh yeah, they are the same. They are the three space bar mm -hmm. combo. Then this goes there. Yeah. And this goes, yeah, I think this is perfect. That's exactly it. All right, cool. Very good. Okay, so uh, probably I've got to go now. I have this uh, appointment. Yeah, sure, let's break here. Uh, I think we uh, made a lot of progress. Oh yeah, the the now we we finished with layout. This is layout. We have implemented the whole thing. Um, it's important that whoever's watching it uh, watches it two or three times to understand what was done because there were a lot of <laughs> yes there, right. So we did cover five layouts in two rows. Yes, you know. So it doesn't. It, it's not immediate. It's not something that you understand at the first time, and sometimes you have to do it three or four times to understand what's happening. But uh, it, 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 it makes for a good um, 
it, it, it makes good trade-offs because trade-offs because remember that we had like a 10 or 12 diodes now we have three or four yeah uh, those diodes will be infinitely easier to maintain to fix it if anything happens to mount you'll have less diodes so it, it just counts on our favor to do this little uh, uh, layout confirmations you know no man i am like i'm seriously uh you know when things start to make sense to you and you're like so glad <laughs> that you're you're getting into this because you know getting it from someone as experienced as, as you is priceless so thanks again for doing this Oh no, issue, man! That's that's what we're there for to you know get get all the the, the, the... you know this thing that uh, Im imagine that we I, I discovered all of this by sheer trial and error. Yeah, so and it's... that's the, the value on this. You're, you're giving yeah. us the shortcuts. Yeah, what, what what gets me is that everyone that's trying it has to deal and solve the same very problems that everyone else has. Yeah, and it just pains me. So no, that's let's just. Do the, the the give them the 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 shortcuts. Perfect, man. Well, awesome. go go enjoy your appointment and thank you so much, man. Let's we see. Uh, so next episode we should start uh, routing and, and placing the MCU. Right? Okay. So we will start by the two most delicate uh, parts of the MCU, which are the crystal and the USB data lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens is that the um, these two are the ones that could potentially hinder your PCB usefulness. Mm -hmm. You misroute the crystal, or if you misroute the data lines of the USB, your PCB might straight out not work. Yes. So we should spend a good amount of time discussing those and why you should be care of them. Mm -hmm. And then all the other traces, they are pretty forgiving. You can do, like for the switch tracing, for the rows and columns tracing, you can do just, you know, you, you can just figure it out by yourself because m m even if you do bad routing, it will work. Yes. That's not the case with the goddamn crystal and the USB. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That's, that's the next one. Perfect, man. All right, you have a good night, yeah. and everybody who followed so far, either awesome. on on Twitch or on the VOD, thank you so much, and stay tuned for the next one. You guys have a good night, Gondo, you too, have a good night, and I'll see you guys thank later. You. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.